Most fans already know quite a few details about the Power Rangers reboot, but there is still a lot of confusion on this topic, and no one is sure when we will be able to see the new Power Rangers. We have to start from the beginning, from the very moment the reboot started to happen. Everything in life starts with an idea and Hasbro had the idea to do a Power Rangers reboot after the 2017 movie was released. The 2017 Power Rangers movie was created by Lionsgate along with Saban and only made a profit of $40 million. They had initially decided not to make a sequel to this movie due to the failure at the box office, but after seeing the profit in products, they wanted to make the sequel and had already left the way open with the final scene of the movie. Hasbro had seen the potential that Power Rangers has, but it is not known if this could be seen after the release of that 2017 movie as that movie changed the entire style of the franchise. Power Rangers has always been a children's series and because of that it has always had goofy comedy, bright colors and obligatory educational messages. Despite all that, the audience for Power Rangers has changed a lot as there are now more teens and adults watching this series as the child audience is not very interested like before. Although Hasbro is dedicated to selling toys and has a large children's audience, they also know how to handle franchises with adult audiences. Because of this, they were able to realize that Power Rangers has a great potential to become a series for young adults and in 2018 they bought the franchise. Since that time, they decided to reboot the franchise and leave the 2017 movie behind. According to what the producers and writers of the 2017 movie have said, this movie will have no connection to the new Power Rangers project. This means that the theories we have previously talked about a connection between the 2017 movie and the franchise reboot are no longer possible. In 2019 Hasbro bought the entertainment company E1, which is dedicated to the acquisition and production of movies and TV series. This company would be in charge of producing the new Power Rangers movie, which later became a series. Originally the movie was to be produced by Paramount Pictures and Jonathan Entwistle was announced as the director. After Hasbro bought E1, the production was moved to this company and Jonathan Entwistle is still the director. For those of you who don't know this director, I can tell you that he is now directing the reboot of the new Karate Kid movie and later we will talk about how this movie will affect the release of Power Rangers. Among the TV series that Jonathan has directed is, The End of the F***ing World, which has a score of 8 on IMDb and he also directed, I Am Not Okay With This, which has a score of 7. Many of the series that he has produced or directed are quite dark, which means that he knows this style very well and possibly this is the style that they are going to give to Power Rangers. If you have seen some of these series I mentioned, then you can understand the style that the new Power Rangers series will probably have. Despite this, Jonathan is also the director of Karate Kid and normally this franchise does not have such a dark style, but more dramatic combined with action, so possibly, here we will see something more similar to Power Rangers. One of the rumors that had been talked about all over the internet a long time ago is that the main idea of this Power Rangers reboot included a time travel and that the characters were going to be set in 1990. We all know that Power Rangers started in 1993 and perhaps this is why they thought it was appropriate to send the characters back to that time. The reality is that this has only been a rumor since the only thing that has been officially mentioned is that the new Power Rangers project started as a movie and then they began to transform it into a series. The script of the movie was divided into two episodes and there was enough material left over to create the beginning of the third episode. This tells us that possibly the episodes could be between 45 to 60 minutes and because it is going to be released on Netflix, then it could possibly be around 10 episodes. 
The writer that has been announced for the reboot is Brian Edward Hill, who has written sci-fi series, horror, and several very dark comics. If the new Power Rangers series is going to have a writer like this, then we should understand that it is most likely going to have a pretty dark style, even darker than the 2017 movie. In December 2023 Hasbro sold the company E1 to Lionsgate and this has left many fans confused. Obviously, the sale of these large companies has many purposes that have no connection to Power Rangers as the franchise is simply a small part of their vast catalog. Many had thought that with this new purchase Lionsgate was going to be able to create the sequel to the 2017 movie, but the reality is that Hasbro kept a large part of the licenses of some franchises. Still, this is something very complex and according to information on the internet, Hasbro is now the only one in charge of producing the new Power Ranger series. Obviously, Netflix is involved in this matter, but they are only the ones who are going to distribute the series through their platform. We had previously talked about the release of the reboot of the Karate Kid franchise, which is supposedly going to be released in this year 2024. This is one of the productions that Jonathan Entwistle must create before starting with Power Rangers, but before that there is still one more series that is also in pre-production. According to what I found on the internet, the filming of Karate Kid is going to be between the months of March and June, which means that Jonathan has to start filming the other series in the last months of 2024. This all depends on the speed at which this director and the companies involved in these projects work. If this happens this way, then that means that the production of Power Rangers can start in 2025 as it is only in development for now. This means that for now they are only preparing for pre-production and that includes finishing the script, defining the style, looking for the main actors and defining the main team that is going to work on this project. In conclusion, Power Rangers is going to have absolutely nothing in 2024 and maybe in 2025 we will start to see some news about the production of the new series. If the production team we have been introduced to is officially the one that is going to create the reboot of the franchise, then we can be almost certain that the style that the new Power Rangers universe is going to have is going to be quite dark. This is obviously also going to include drama, action and sci-fi, but the overall style of the whole production is going to be dark. This could be very good for the franchise as Power Rangers is full of otherworldly monsters, time travel and different dimensions. All of this they have not been able to take full advantage of in a children's series, but in a young adult series with a dark style they could create truly terrifying monsters. Write in the comments some ideas about very dark villains that should appear in this new universe, like this video and subscribe to this channel for more darkness in Power Rangers.